Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If using QuickBooks Payments with QuickBooks Online, then customer payments on invoices are automatically recorded when the customer pays the invoice by clicking the link you sent to them. However, you can also manually enter payments received for invoices you sent in QuickBooks Online Plus if needed. To manually record a customer payment on an invoice in QuickBooks Online, click the plus new button in the navigation bar. Then click the Receive Payment link in the drop-down menu to open the Receive Payment window. Select the name of the customer from whom you are receiving payment from the customer drop-down at the top of the form to show the customer's open invoices in the Outstanding Transactions list below. Alternatively, to select the customer for whom you are receiving payment by invoice number, click the Find by Invoice Number button to the right to open a drop-down menu where you can type an invoice number into the Invoice Number field, and then click the Find button to select the customer. Alternatively, to close the menu without finding an invoice, simply click the Cancel button in the drop-down menu. Alternatively, to open the Receive Payment window to receive a payment from a customer when viewing the Customers list, find the customer from whom you are receiving payment in the Customers list. Then click the Receive Payment link from the Action Columns drop-down to open the same Receive Payment window and show the customer's open invoices. Next, enter the payment date into the Payment Date field. Then use the Payment Method drop-down to select the method of payment used by the customer. If the customer pays by check, you can enter their check number into the Reference Number field. Use the Deposit To drop-down to select the account into which to deposit the payment. Enter the payment amount into the Amount Received field. After you initially enter a value into the Amount Received field and then leave this field, QuickBooks Online Plus automatically applies the amount you enter to the oldest invoices for the customer in the Outstanding Transactions list, although you can change this if needed. All the selected customers' open invoices and other Outstanding Receivables transactions appear in the Outstanding Transactions list. You will see columns for each transaction's description, due date, original amount, open balance, and payment. Transactions to which any part of the amount received is applied appear with a check in their leftmost checkbox column. If needed to remove any applied amounts received from a transaction, you can uncheck its checkbox. If you check a transaction's checkbox, the open balance of the transaction appears in the far right payment column. If recording a partial payment on an invoice or applying one payment to multiple invoices, it may be better to manually enter the amount to attribute from the amount received to an invoice by typing it into the payment column for the invoice. If you change the default application of the amount received by checking the transaction checkboxes or manually entering values into the payment column, double check the amounts entered to ensure that they match the total amount received field and that you do not create any unwanted credits which appear in the lower right corner of the outstanding transactions list. You can enter a note for yourself into the memo field below this list. To attach a file to the payment, use the Attachments field. You can click the Clear Payment button at the right side of this window to clear any payment amounts you have entered for the customer if you make a mistake. The toolbar at the bottom of this window contains buttons that let you manage the transaction. To cancel receiving the payment, click the Cancel button. To clear the payment window, click the Clear button. To save and print the payment, click the Print button in this toolbar to save the transaction and open a PDF preview window. You can then print, download, or preview the PDF and close it when finished. To save the payment and email it to the customer, open a new payment window or close the payment window, select either the Save and Send, Save and New, or Save and Close command by using the drop-down button in this toolbar. Clicking the Save and Send button saves the payment and opens a new Send Email window where you can enter their email to send them a copy of the payment.
Clicking the Save and New button saves the payment and opens a new Receive Payment window. Clicking the Save and Close button saves the payment and closes the Receive Payment window. After saving a payment, a More button also appears in this toolbar that lets you select Void to void the payment, Delete to delete the payment, Transaction Journal to view a transaction journal for the payment, or Audit History to view an audit history for the payment. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.